Hello, Assalamualaikum boys and girls. How are you today? Welcome back to our lesson English Year 6. So today you are going to look at unit 11 in your textbook, page 106, 107 and 108. So here are the pages that you are going to refer 106, 107, and 108. Okay, first page is page 106. Alright, now I want you to listen and repeat after me. Okay? Are you ready? Alright. Let's read. Najmi is reading about the traditional accessories worn at the Gawai Daya Festival. Gawai Daya is a festival celebrated in Sarawak on the 1st and 2nd June every year. The Gawai Daya is celebrated by the Dayaks. During this festival, a traditional dance called the Najat is performed. While performing the dance, the male dancers wear a headgear called Burang Sumba. It is made of cloth with golden lace. They wear a long loin cloth in called Tahu. It is wrapped neatly around the body with one end hanging down in front and the other end hanging behind. They wear bangles and a pair of earrings. They hold a long sword in one hand and an ornately decorated shield in the other. The female dancers wear an elaborate head dress called sepia and a knee-length dress with intricate weaving. It is called jomo. Their necklaces are made of beads. Copper bangles called sarim are worn on the legs from the knee downward. They wear copper bangles on their arms and forearms as well. Copper belts called porik are also worn by the woman. In conclusion, if you have never seen a Ngajat dance, visit Sarawak during Gawai Daya to experience its uniqueness. Okay, now you have done your reading. Okay, first you have to understand, okay, what it's all about. Okay, first look at the format of this uh, text, okay. When you are going to write an essay, you have to bear in mind that first, you have to write the introduction, okay? So this, okay, this one we can call it as introduction. And look at the last one. This is conclusion. Introduction maksudnya uh, pengenalan, okay? Maksudnya kita akan... Uh, introduce, memperkenalkan apakah tajuk yang akan kita tulis. Uh, apakah isi-isi yang terbawa, di bawah ni, kita akan bagi tahu dekat atas pengenalan. Dan uh, pada perakhiran cerita ni, uh, awak kena buat conclusion. Conclusion ni maksud dia sebagai penutup. Okay? Uh, sebagai penutup, uh, yang ni dia promote talian Najat, uh, dia promote Sarawak uh, Siapa nak tengok Tarian Najat ni, kenalah datang Sarawak uh, macam tu So Okay, before we write the proper essay You have to answer some questions regarding the passage Okay Alright, now this is your exercise one Please take out your E1 And you have to Copy, okay, draw the table, copy like this, okay. 
Write complete the table. Description of accessories. There are six description of accessories. You have to name all the traditional accessories. Okay, yang ini kita panggil nama apa tadi dalam cerita tadi. Teacher ada uh, explain. Okay. So this is the gawai dayak uh, accessories. Okay. Yang ada orang punya attire yang dia orang okey dari atas ha, rambut sampai hujung kaki ha, ada special accessories so awak kena namakan nombor 1 male dancers head gear so refer to the textbook tadi okey ah passage tadi apa nama yang dekat atas kepala tu nombor 2 Female dancers hate dress. Ada dalam message tu. Awak kena tulis ini jawapan dia. So, jawapan ni yang ini. Okay. Ada six answers uh, for each statement. Okay. Uh, Alright, next. Look at your textbook, page 107. Alright. Now, let's read the story. Okay, Asin is reading a story. Asin sedang membaca uh, story. Story tu apa? Sebuah cerita. Okay, jom kita tengok apa yang Asin uh, baca ni. Once upon a time in a small kingdom, there lived a tailor. Tailor ni apa? Uh, tailor ni ialah tukang jahit yang dia buat baju tu. Okay, one day... As he was sewing a rope, some flies started troubling him. Ha, dia tengah menjahit, ada beberapa ekor lalat kacau dia. He shoot them away. Dia dah uh, cuba untuk menghalau. But, tetapi, they continued to bother him. Lalat-lalat tu tetap kacau dia. The tailor then took a fly's water and killed seven flies with one sweat. Ha, bunuh sekali bun sekali tampak je terbunuh lah uh, berapa ekor ni seven tujuh ekor lalat lepas tu I have killed seven in a single blue ha, dia kata saya bunuh tujuh dengan sekali uh, pukul kan shouted the tailor with great pride Ha, menjerit lah tailor ni ha, Dia bukan setakat, setakat cakap Tapi dia je jerit ha, Dengan bangganya At that very moment Two ladies were standing outside his shop ha, Masa tu juga ada dua orang Perempuan Berdiri di luar Kedai ha, Kedai tukang jahit ni Talking about a fearsome giant sedang bercakap tentang uh, adalah satu makhluk yang besar ni uh, the, this giant was killing many people in the kingdom and eating them whole when they overheard the tailor the ladies thought what a brave man he is he has killed seven giants in one blow ah uh, dekat bandar tu Kan? Ha, giant ni memang orang takut lah. Sebab giant ni selalu bunuh orang dan makan. Ha. Lepas tu bila dua orang ni dengar tailor ni kata saya bunuh tujuh dengan sekali pukul. Ha, dia peringat ha, apa? tailor ni dah bunuh giant tu lah. Ha, tapi padahal bukan giant kan ha, yang tujuh tu. Tujuh tu merujuk kepada apa tadi? Uh, flies. Kan? Tapi yang perempuan ni dengar uh, diingatkan giant. Okay. Lepas tu, look at the third passage. They ran to the king. Mereka berlari uh, menuju kepada siapa ni? King, raja. And told him about the brave tailor. Bring him to me. Uh, raja suruh bawa Bawa. Bawa kepada beta. Ha. 
The tailor tried to explain that he had only killed seven flies, but his cries were in vain. Uh, dia dah cakap dah. Uh, sebenarnya bukannya dia bunuh tujuh giant kan? Dia cuma bunuh tujuh ekor lalat. Hmm. Tu. Uh. Go, kill the giant. Uh. So, apa Raja ni mengarahkan Taylor, tukang jahit ni untuk bunuh giant tu. So, the poor man had no choice but to obey. Uh, Taylor ni, kasihan kan? Dah tak ada pilihan. Hmm, kena patuh je lah. Okay, next. The tailor reached the giant's cave. Ha, dah sampai dah gua giant. Oh, what a mighty giant he is. Oh, dia kata, besarnya. I can't kill him. Saya tak boleh bunuh dia. Uh, he thought. Then the tailor had a brilliant idea. That night, while the giant was sleeping, he saw the giant sleep together. Oh, maksud giant tu tengah tidur dia. Jahit mulut giant. Now, the giant could not eat anything. Ah, giant tu tak boleh makan. When he woke up, bila dah bangun, he beg the tailor. Dia merayu kepada tukang jahit to undo the stitches on his mouth. Ah, untuk buka balik lah jahitan di mulutnya tu. The tailor agreed to do so on one condition. Ah, tukang jahit ni pun setuju tetap untuk buka balik jahitan ni dengan satu syarat. Dia kata, I will undo the stitches only if you promise to stop killing any more people and leave our kingdom immediately. Ha, syaratnya ialah uh, berjanji untuk uh, berhenti bunuh orang dan uh, segera dengan segera meninggalkan uh, negara. Okay. Okay. The giant agreed. Uh, so, giant tu setuju and the tailor unpicked the Stitches ni dia buka balik lah. Jahitan tu. Uh, so, the giant immediately left the kingdom. So, the giant, giant tu pun meninggalkan negara tu. And the tailor received a handsome reward from the king. Uh, uh, tailor ni juga dapat uh, hadiah. So, everyone live happily ever after. Faham tak apa? Uh, so, what is the moral of the story? Haa. Uh, Uh, bijak kan dia uh, Bijak lah walaupun uh, Giant tu sangat besar uh, Dia ada brilliant idea Satu lagi uh, Tengok ni ladies ni kan uh, Dia dengar je cakap uh, Lepas tu dia buat Assumption Dia buat apa uh, Dia tuduh-tuduh je lah Tak boleh lah kan uh, Sebenarnya dia bukannya bunuh Seven giant Sebenarnya dia bunuh seven flies Alright, finish reading. Then we are going to answer the seven questions. Okay, now this is exercise two. Please take out your E1 and copy these questions and answer them correctly. Alright, number one. What was bothering the tailor? Apa yang uh, mengganggu tukang? Jahit tadi. Apa yang mengganggu dia? Depan dia ialah flies. Okay. Lalat. Lalat. Number two. How many flies did the tailor kill? Berapa ekor lalat? Uh, tukang jahit ni dah bunuh. Berapa ekor? Yes, seven. Number three. What did the ladies hear? Apa yang... Uh, dua orang perempuan tu dengar. The ladies heard. Okay, sini heard eh. Sini hear. Jadi, past tense sebab question dia in past tense. So, bila dah ada past tense sini, okay, awak kena jawab tukar hear, present tense jadi heard. The tailor said he had killed seven in a single blow. Okay, okay, salin jawapan. Okay, number four. Why did the king call for the tailor? Kenapa uh, 
raja uh, panggil tailor the king called okey dia orang ni adik kan adik ni call so call jadi call the tailor to order him to go and kill the giant ha nah, pergi bunuh giant number 5 where did the giant live di manakah giant itu tinggal so the giant lived in a cave dalam gua number 6 did the tailor obey the king's command adakah tukang jahit patuh kepada uh, arahan uh, raja Yes, the tailor obeyed the king's command. Number seven, what happened to the giant? Ha, apa dah jadi dengan giant tu? The giant immediately left the kingdom. Okay. Alright, next, look at your textbook, page 108. So on this page, you are going to write an introduction. Okay, what is introduction? Tadi kita cakap introduction ialah pengenalan. Okay, pengenalan dia berada di atas sekali. Okay, what about conclusion? Conclusion ialah di bawah sekali. Okay, okay di sini, okay ada uh, ada task. Ada kerja eh, awak kena buat. Write an appropriate introduction and conclusion. Okay. Uh, body dia dah bagi, isi-isi penting dia dah bagi, awak semua kena buat atas dengan bawah. Okay. So, okay. It's, okay, ini ialah sari. So, sari berada di first paragraph. Okay. So, ini pula ialah salwar khamis Ah, ini isi-isi dia lah ni. So, ini ialah vesti. So, ah, isi penting dia tiga ni. So, awak rasa apa pengenalan dia? Ah, pengenalan dia, sini dia bagi three main attire Indian. Ah, tiga utama pakaian Indian. Ah, kita beritahu lah. Dia nak bercakap mengenai tiga ah, pakaian ah, tradisional yang utama yang dipakai oleh oleh orang India. Okay, conclusion dia dari sini India attire unique, stylish and uh, comfortable. Dia dah bagi uh, apa? Uh, guided word. Okay, uh, dia bantu awak ni awak cuma sambung, 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 sambung jadi ayat yang uh, betul. India attire pakaian India uh, unique, stylish, uh, comfortable, boleh So, alright. So this is your exercise three. Still using your E one. Okay, now I will guide you how to write the introduction. So these are the body. So three main points given here. So you just write the introduction and conclusion, right? So you can copy this in your E one. Okay, copy every everything, introduction and the three points here, the three paragraph for the body, and also the conclusion. Okay, let's look at the introduction first. Introduction means penge, pengenalan. Ha, okay. Dia nak memperkenalkan ataupun menerangkan apakah uh, yang akan kita sampaikan dalam uh, cerita ni. Okay. There are three main Indian attire. Even there are many traditional dresses worn both by women and men. These three attires are widely recognized everywhere. They are sari, salwar kamis and vashti. Okay, ha, di sini dia dah cakap dah. Uh, pakaian tradisional tu ialah sari, salwar kamis and vashti. Lepas tu tengok paragraph yang first ni. 
dia menerangkan tentang sari. Paragraf kedua pula dia terangkan tentang saluar kamis. Dan Vesti ni pula dia terangkan di paragraf ke tiga. Okey dah habis terang, uh, penerangan tiga-tiga isi penting ni. So tulis conclusion. In conclusion. Okay. Uh, untuk apa, sebagai penutup. All these three attires are the most elegant and sophisticated Indian attires that one can think of. They are unique and comfortable to wear. They can make anyone look stylish, beautiful and special. Okay? That's all. Easy, right? So now, copy this in your E1. Alright, that's all class for today. Thank you for joining PDPR and watching my video. Okay, please like and subscribe my channel. Okay, take care everyone. Bye-bye.